Hi, I'm Patu from Free Finkal. Today, let's talk about a question that was asked a few days ago by a viewer. What is the benefit of mutual funds beating the index to a common man? Now, this is a, a, a strange question. Uh, on the face of it, it should seem obvious, but there are some nuances to it, I think, which we should understand. So the actual question was, what is the benefit of a mutual fund beating the index? How is it going to benefit the common investor? Now, uh, I can rephrase this question uh, in, a, in a different way. I can say, look, as long as I get returns, how does it matter whether I buy active funds or passive funds? How does it matter whether I buy direct plan funds or regular plan funds? Now, um, the thing is this. So look at how fund managers are paid look at how distributors are paid first of all most people don't appreciate the fact that how distributors are paid there are distributors today who still claim that their services are free to the investor and they get paid for their services uh, by the amc separately how is it possible when you buy a bar of soap uh, the profit margin of the manufacturer the profit margin of the distributor, the profit margin of the retailer is all built in into the bar of soap. So when you are buying a bar of soap for 50 rupees, every profit margin is built into that. You're not, nobody gets paid separately. That's just not possible. So in a regular plan, I mean, come on, by now I feel silly talking about the difference between regular plan and direct plan in 2021. They were introduced in 2013. I mean, <laughs> some readers were in probably uh, in school uh, sorry some viewers were in school by then <laughs> it's just bizarre but that's how it is that's how uh, nice the mutual fund uh, uh, industries propaganda mechanism is so the uh, the nav that is declared every night that takes away the expense ratio of the fund in the case of direct plan and in the case of regular plan, it takes away the expense ratio of the fund. Also, it takes away the commissions of the distributor. And that's only then the NAV is uh, published. That's ba basically how uh, the bar of soap is also priced. The same logic. Now, the point is this. In the case of regular plans, there is a co conflict of interest. There, there is always a, a guy who is selling mutual funds who are going to say, I will give you a mutual fund for every need, whether you want to scratch your nose or you want to uh, put money for one day or 10 days or 100 days, they will say always, they, they will think only in terms of mutual funds and they would want the maximum amount of your asset allocation in funds that pay themselves the higher commission. That's all. You, that happens every day through and through in the industry and that simple conflict of interest, it's what nobody could have said it better than uh, Warren Buffett who said, why do you want to uh, ask a barber whether uh, you want a haircut? That's that's just the, the most eloquent way of putting the, uh, uh, the whole thing. So there's that. Now, the, the reason why you should choose direct plans is not because of more returns or lower costs. It is because you are avoiding conflict of interest when you go through the regular plan uh, pl uh, plan channel and that should be your primary aim now in the case of now that's that i'm not going to talk about regular direct anymore i'm tired of doing that it's been it's a uh, it's old hat now let's come to index uh, funds which is based which is the actual question uh, so active funds versus passive funds now take the case of active funds in the case of active funds the um uh, the cost of an active fund today is at least five times more than the cost of an index fund or maybe it's a little more than in the case for a etf at least five times more the, the, there's a that's a minimum uh, difference now for a person who is uh, or for a um, uh, fund for a fund manager who is charging that much more or a fund uh, 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 fund management house that is charging that much more their only job is to beat the index. Their only job is to beat the Nifty or the Sensex or whatever is the relevant index they themselves call or they should at least beat the relevant index fund because the index fund will have a um, lower return than the index because of its own expense ratio. So at least they should beat the index fund that uh, so because they are charging five times more. That is the only job whether they declare that as the mandate in the scheme information document or not someone uh, said it is important that they, they don't 
whether they declare it in the scheme information document as their mandate or whether they say that their scheme is so different that it cannot be benchmarked many of these luxembourg domiciled funds they say that uh, our fund is so unique that it can't even be benchmarked that means i will charge you whatever i want my returns will be whatever i want you should not ask me questions it's even worse at least in india i have not seen an indian mutual fund say our fund is so different that it cannot be benchmarked uh, so uh, their only job is to beat the benchmark because that's the minimum because they they they're, they're getting paid so much more and what happens when they don't get paid uh, uh, sorry what happens when one year they don't uh, beat the benchmark do they get paid less no they get paid the same one year two year three year four year seven years eight years i have seen for eight years the fund has not bet uh, the benchmark year on year still the fund manager gets five times more to today if you buy something from amazon and if the product is uh, broken or cracked or even if the even if the parcel is slightly open many of us will immediately send it and we want either a refund or we want a uh, replacement do we do that in the case of mutual funds do we say last one year you took that much for expense ratio you have not bet the you have not bet the sensex or the nifty or whatever benchmark it is so please uh, give us a refund of the expense ratio nobody says that nobody can say that so what is the benefit of the uh, in, uh, mutual funds beating active mutual funds beating the benchmark Be that is the only way they can justify their damn costs because the common man supposedly the common man is poor all everybody thinks of themselves as a common man today everybody says we are poor we are poor so then why are you paying so much money where where why do you have uh, why are you shedding out so much uh, 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 in terms of expense ratio where is the logic in uh, that kind of reasoning so and uh, finally i want to say that it is very much possible to have a system in where an active fund can refund the total expense ratio in case of poor performance that is suppose a fund starts uh, operating on january 1st until december 31st of that year they can deduct uh, whatever 1.5% or 2% of expense ratio whatever they are charging they can deduct daily that is a normal uh, over every day they can not every day they will deduct 2% but 2% distributed over 365 days they will they will uh, uh, they will deduct from the nav let them do it on january 1st the next year if the performance of the fund is above the benchmark then they can keep that uh, expense ratio if it is below the benchmark then they can happily refund that money and put it into the nav the nav will improve a little bit this this kind of model is very much possible within the sebi rules there's nothing that uh, as far as i know that uh, prevents this but no mutual fund will come forward and justify their costs like that they all they want is we will try to beat the benchmark we will get guaranteed money but you should not ask questions please remember whether it is your dmat account uh, 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 provider or whether it is your distributor or whether it is a fund manager these people get paid real money when you when they deduct money from the nav they go directly into the pocket of these people whereas the nav that these people offer us the value for the units that these people offer us that is completely notional until we redeem whereas they are getting paid every day in real money therefore they better do uh, uh, the 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 minimum job that they have to do try and beat the benchmark or at least beat it and uh, uh, at least beat it if uh, at least every other year and there are many funds who don't do that there are many funds over 5 years 6 years 7 years they have not they have not beat the benchmark that's just shambolic things will not change we have to be uh, more intelligent